Hi, Hiram here. I got a comment from B-Man715 about the little soda can stove that I did a couple of days ago where I put the fiberglass wicking in through the portholes to see what that would do. This is fiberglass wicking. It's round sixteenth of an inch braided fiberglass. I bought it from a place called Canteen Gear Shop. I'll put a link to it down in the text area. It costs 17 cents a foot. Pretty cool stuff. This is the same stuff that people use to wrap their uh, piney pots and foster pots and stuff to keep their fingers from burning. I'm using it as an alcohol wick. Anyway, <coughs> excuse me. What he said was, I'm curious to see how isopropyl 90% would work in that stove. Given the space between the wicks and the pot, he said he doesn't think that it'll smut the pots. I'm not too sure about that, but I thought I'd give it a try here today. So what I have is I have a half of a fluid ounce of the 90% isopropyl alcohol in there. The idea behind this stove is that I can set the pot right onto the burner. I don't have to wait for it to blossom or bloom. Let's go to camera two. Like this. And let's see where this goes. Note on this how the flames have yellow tips on them, just like they usually did with the isopropyl alcohol. So far I don't see any soot underneath the pot from this angle, but we do have the uh, yellow tips, like I said. Now the flames are getting larger. And now there is soot forming on the outside edges that I can see. Okay, the flames are getting even larger. I think the alcohol is vaporizing and getting out through the holes that the wick is in, forming jets. More soot is forming on the pot. There we have 210, 211, 212 at 739. Let's see where runout is. Okay, the flames are going. Going. Still hanging in there. Okay, let's call that dead at 9.30, 9 minutes 30 seconds. Okay, surprised that it got the water to boil, but I think you can see it's all quite sooty. see that? The circle on the inside is where the uh, stove was touching the pot so of course that's clean but it's all sooty around the outside edges where the flame came up around the side. 
So I really don't think that wicking is going to be the way to use the isopropyl alcohol. Good idea, but okay, recap here. <clears throat> this is my little soda can stove where I added wicking to it. Two cups of water starting at about 60 degrees, room temperature 63, humidity 58. It brought the water to a boil in 7 minutes and 39 seconds and then ran out in 9 minutes and 30. The last time when I used denatured alcohol, that's interesting, when I used the denatured alcohol, uh, starting at about 60 degrees, two cups, time to boil was 7 minutes and 30 seconds, so this was about 9 minutes more, so that's pretty much the same time, and run out before on the denatured alcohol was 10 minutes, whereas this was 9 minutes 30 seconds, so pretty close. The only big difference is that the, denate, the isopropyl alcohol really sooted up the pot. If you don't mind soot, that's another way to run it. So I thank Beeman 715 for that idea. I always look forward to those. I look forward to everybody's input, their questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend. And that's in the second thing.